Hello and welcome to the third part of the resource editor tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create this sort of UI of the ratios application from Michael Ruhlman. So it will take some time to do the entire UI, but the basic functionality of this UI should be pretty easy to create. Uh, there's also a splash screen that we can see right now because we passed through it and we're going to start with that particular splash screen. So let's begin by going to the GUI builder and creating a new splash screen, which is how we'll start the application. Now this is just a simple form where we do essentially nothing. I just give it the UI ID of splash and we'll customize the way it looks in a minute. And I'm going to tell it to move to the next form soon enough. So the first form is the main GUI form. And I'm just going to create it right now. I'm not going to do anything. Instead, I'm going to go back to the splash. As you can see, I went right back to the splash. And I'm going to select that the next form is the main UI. So the splash will appear. And after doing a process in the background, we'll move into the main form. Now I'll create a simple theme. In this theme, I'll define first the splash background. Um, Sorry, I'll need to import the images that I need to use as the baseline first. These images uh, right here include the icons, underline, various things I'll need, and the splash that's right here. So I'm just going to import all of these. And now I'll add the splash background which means I'll type splash right here. As you remember, I placed the splash in the UI ID. Define the background image. By default, the background image is scaled, so I don't need to do much anything. And define it like this. And this should automatically work when I'm looking at the splash screen. It should look as I expect, as a splash screen. Now I want to define the main UI. In the main UI, I'll just place a container. And the reason for that is that I want to create a special effect. As you can see here, I have the title. And I'll just set the title to be ratios as it is there. And this is that area. And now I want to create this sort of effect, this border around and the gradient background. So this I'm going to define as round rect. And just so it's actually uh, visible to us, I'll put a button within the round rect. And doing this also makes me notice that the container in the main UI isn't centered. So I just want to place it within a border layout center. Uh, sorry, not this one, this one. I want to define the layout of the parent container to be border layout. And I want the container within here to be centered, which will take up the entire screen, essentially. Now, this container, I want to be in box layout Y, which essentially means this area is a container that's placed within this one in the center, taking over the entire available space. And this one's a box layout Y containing buttons. And we'll discuss exactly how that works in a minute. I'll define, I'll leave the UI ID the same for now. So let's define the round rect and the background of the container. So first thing, as you can see, we saw the splash and then it moved to this. So first thing, let's add the background colors for the form. We can just type in the form, although I can select it from the combo box and uh, define the background gradient. As you can see here, the background gradient is red to black. Not as obvious, uh, but, it, but it is. It's red to a darker red. So I'm defining the background gradient as a ver uh, background type, as a background vertical gradient, like this. And as you can see, it's not very obvious. So I'm going to add some padding to the round rect, so we can act uh, margin, sorry, so we can actually see the difference. And I'm going to add some margins like this. And at the top, I want less, uh, something like this. And at the bottom, something like this. 
and now it's more obvious. Now I'll change the color of the gradient like this. Um, background uh, BG gradient and define the color um, like this. And we can see this in the preview already. And that's really pretty nice. Now I'll define the round rect uh, border. And I'm going to do this using this tool. And uh, I want the color to be identical, white and white. And I don't want an outline, so I'll just cancel this out and cancel this out. And I'd like the arc to be much bigger, something of this scale. 30, uh, 30, and um, I'll enlarge this a bit. Okay, that's pretty much what I want, and now I'll cut it. No, I actually want it bigger. Um, so the cut, the cut areas would be bigger. The reason I want the cut areas to be relatively large is because tiling images is a bit of an expensive operation eventually. So I want the images to be as big as reasonably possible to allow the, the tiling to run with as little cycles as possible. Every draw operation to the screen takes some time. And as you can see, I can zoom so it will be more obvious. I'm cutting the nine image border like this and it will fit around like that and I need to select to apply it to the round rect component to its unselected state and the reason I'm only selecting the unselected state is because no other state is really relevant for this case and now that I've done it I've got the round rect I've got the background now I need to fix the title the title is pretty similar to this so I'll just copy and paste this and type in title but here we want a slightly different gradient uh, colors. So I'll do this again and copy and paste of this. But here the color should be black to um, a bit uh, more grayish color. So let's select this and that. Ah, sorry. Didn't I update the title? Hmm. Oh. Didn't I type in title like this? Okay, yeah. That's it. And now here. And the background should be something like this. Okay. And that's nicer. Now let's just add a title foreground color and make it white. So this actually works. Ah, and that's really much better. As we can see, we start up, there's the ratio, and then we have this portion. And now I want to fix the button. I want the button not to have a border. So I can just define the button uh, border to be um, empty right here and no, that doesn't really do what I ah okay here we go that was because the button had focus, so obviously I need to change the selected as well and not just the unselected, obviously. Um, and now we can continue with the GUI builder itself. Um, for that, I have to go to another section because YouTube has some limits about the lengths of the videos. So I'll continue this in the next part.